find that they uh, generally are able to handle it. Well, the first thing to see is not actually a dialect, it's a language in its, in, in its own right. Um, it's often referred to as a dialect because people think of it as a kind of debased form of, uh, of English. Um, how one defines a language or a dialect is uh, quite controversial. Um, but a language was once defined as a, as a dialect with an army behind it, so it's often um, uh, political um, reasons that, uh, that a particular form of speech is defined as a, as a, as a language or a, or a dialect. So um, people in power, if they want to um, regard a subject people's language as inferior, they'll refer to it as a dialect, and that instantly reduces its, uh, its status. I mean, there are dialects, plural, of the Scots language, just as there are dialects of, um, of the English language. And, uh, you know, I think the thing is that I think we have to celebrate um, living languages uh, and not really bother about um, their status. Uh, you know, leave that to the, um, the people in power, the people who believe that one class or one race is superior to, to another. Um, you know, <laughs> I just know that they're wrong. <laughs> So, so it is its own. Uh, we shall prevail. <laughs> it is its own language, and um, we shall prevail. A sentiment. I don't know. I'm just recording it because I was thinking that. Oh, it's. Oh, by the way, it's Tom Hubbard. Um, the vid visiting Scotch. Scot. Scotch. Wow. Way to get myself beat up in Scotland. The vid visiting Scottish. Um, poet. That we have down here at Yukon, and. I don't know. I've gone to uh, I've gone to one of his book readings. He's a pretty nice guy, pretty in very intelligent guy. I I just find it funny that he focuses um besides being a poet in his writings, he focuses on Robert Louis Stevenson and Mark Twain. Just because you know, Scottish writer, you'd think he'd focus on Scottish things, but no. I mean, <sighs> I mean to get, give him credit. I mean, I'm focusing my, I'm focusing my English studies on Irish. So, um, I don't know. Thought it, thought it was just an interesting thing. Uh, but yeah, finished, finished, finished my first two finals: 18th century British literature and uh, computer organization and architecture. That one was a bitch, but it went a lot better than I thought it would actually. I ended up leaving the exam 45 minutes early, and not because I didn't have any clue what I was doing. I answered every question to the best of my ability. There was only, like, one question that I couldn't... I, I wasn't really sure on. Well, there were a couple questions I wasn't really sure on, but, like, one that I was like, eh, I'm taking a shot in the dark. <laughs> and funny enough, it's it's from the one of the very first things we covered. So I get to go home. I get to write some more. Not, not, not that I, not that I don't like it because I'm not writing an essay or something. It's all creative writing, so it's pretty cool. I don't know. I just felt like shooting video, guys. Is it over four minutes? Let me check. Oh, almost, almost over four minutes, according to Roko Bote's good friend, XG Hunter X. Uh, that means you guys won't watch it. So I guess I'll, I'll make sure that it's a, a little over a minute. Most of you won't watch it anyway. Who cares about me? <laughs> I don't know. Alright, I'm gonna go back to my WHUS. This college radio. Oh, almost there. Almost a minute. Almost four minutes. Woo, four minutes.